my channel. So today I thought I'd do a little chit chat get ready with me. As you guys probably know, I love doing chit chat get ready with me because like I just like to like vent and like talk and then people sometimes like reply and we have like conversations. I just, I don't know, I like to get things off my chest um, and I like to start discussions. And so while I'm doing my makeup, um, I don't know when the last time is that I showed you guys my makeup routine. So I thought this would be good because then I could kind of like show you guys my routine and then talk and you know, whatever. I don't know if the lighting is good or not because it's like kind of the sun setting a little bit, but also like it's my lighting is like warm. I don't even know, but whatever. We're gonna deal with it. All right. So as always, I'm gonna start with my uh, Mario Badescu uh, facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water, which I really just use now as a setting spray. Um, I really don't know if it works for like whatever else the purpose of it is, but it does work for hydrating my face and also just keeping um, my makeup nice and like tight or whatever, like nice and like cohesive. Um, I like used to use the NYX or NYX or whatever um, setting spray, but then I ran out and I literally just started using this because I ran out um, and then I never stopped using it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I just go ahead with, I have the Sigma brush uh, Flat Kabuki F80 and I just spray that brush with like um, with the sweating spray or whatever, the rose water spray, just to get it like a little like um, moisture, give it a little moisture before using it to do my foundation. And as you guys probably know, because I think I talked about this in a video, actually I definitely talked about this, um, I'm obsessed with the Fenty Beauty Foundation, I think it's like called like Pro Filter and my color is 340. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply that on my face. All right, so now I'm just gonna um, blend it. I don't know if this is like a good angle or like whatever. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it in. Um, I don't put as much on my forehead because my forehead is usually a little darker than my, the rest of my face and it like looks weird when I put a lot on there. I'm gonna put really much at all. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm so, so happy to be getting back into YouTube. Oh my gosh, you can't even imagine, like, how, how many times I've, like, gone to try to film a video and literally not had the time or energy to put into my usual, like, what I usually put into it because I've just been so busy and I've had a lot going on. I've had a lot of stressful life events, which, like, in the psychological sense, like, psychological term, um, terminology, it means, like things that can like set off or like trigger your like mental health problems so like if you're predisposed to mental health and or if you're predisposed to uh certain mental health issues like anxiety depression what have you um stressful life events can trigger those uh issues and if you already have anxiety or something like that which i have anxiety so i'm using that as an example um it can exacerbate it and like make it uh prevalent when you were like on a good track or you're on a steady track or whatever so anyway yeah i've had three stressful what did i say three a breakup a move and a new job so yeah three stressful life, life events and although it's been like a few months since like it all happened it's one of those things where it doesn't like you don't just like it happens and you're good it's like there's a lot of a lot of things to deal with emotionally and physically too because like keeping yourself healthy all that kind of stuff but anyway so it was really tough and I kind of took a YouTube break but now I'm back and better than ever baby <laughs> so yeah I've just been like having fun I have like been so lucky to just be able to spend so much time with my friends and my loved ones um, it's my sister's birthday tomorrow so I'm gonna get to go home and surprise her and take her out um, so I'm so excited for that and I don't know I just been having a really good time getting to know people meeting new people and I guess like I've never really had that experience before because I was always in a relationship um, I mean I had it but it was just different it was like I had a focus and I had somebody that I always like could count on and rely on so I never really had to go out of my way. Even though I tried to make friends and stuff, if you guys watch my other videos, you know that I always want to make friends and I like, I don't know, that's my personality. But besides that, like, I don't know. I just kind of had my group of friends, had my life and had my boyfriend and that was like what I had for like over five years. So now being in, being alone, it's just different. Like I just have such a, such a natural inclination to like go out of my way to like meet people and do things and also I have a new workplace so like I get to know a lot of people in my workplace and 
Um, yeah, so I almost put blush on my nose. That was not smart. <laughs> I hate the lighting. Ugh. Yeah, so I just used the NARS Orgasm Blush that I've been using for years, basically. So yeah, basically, um, I've been having a lot of fun and I've been doing a lot of things and putting myself out there and getting out of my comfort zone. Um, but that didn't really leave much time for dedicating to my channel and uh, to like keeping up with the social media for it and stuff like that. So now I'm like, you know what? I've had time and I'm ready and I'm really missing it, so I'm back. So I just did the Becca, I forget what it's, Champagne Pop Highlighter I think it's called. And as you can see it like, especially with my skin tone, it's really like bright and super obvious I guess you could say. Um, so I just like to blend that in a little bit. And then when it settles too, it's like better, but still. So yeah, um, I've just been kind of going through it. Life is so hard, whatever, but I'm really, really blessed and I'm just trying to live my life for the fullest right now. Um, actually, I've been really getting into lately, uh, so I got movie pass. First off, I love how I'm literally wearing my Sea Geek shirt. Like, oh my god, I'm always in Sea Geek swag or something because I'm freaking obsessed with my job and I honestly wouldn't have it any other way. But, um, oh yeah, and I never, oh my gosh, I never, I always forget to say this in my videos, but I have a discount code for my job um, for tickets. So, like, obviously you guys know because I talk about it all the time, but if you want to do like any concerts, any shows, any like uh, comedian events, comedian events like stand-up comedy shows or like sports or whatever um we you can get tickets through SeatGeek and I actually got my own promo code to Massland my full name um and I think you get $20 off or something I don't get anything from it it's literally just me telling you this because I love my company and I think like duh I want other people to use it um or like if you're starting a new account you can use my referral code which I think will also give you $20 off or something but you can't um, already have an account if you're gonna use that link. But anyway, I'll put that in the description box in case anyone's interested. Um, I'm going to see Lord soon, so that's gonna be fun. But yeah, so anyway, I have been um, treating myself a lot lately. Oh my god, look at that I did. Um, I've been going to, I've been going to the movies by myself so much, and honestly, I love it. Like I never would ever go to the movies by myself because I don't know. I'm I'm a big movie fan. But I've never, I've always gone with people my whole life, since I was a kid, like, one of my favorite pastimes is going to the movies. And so, I never thought, like, I thought it was, like, probably going to be weird to go by myself. So, <laughs> so I never did. Um, and then I got Movie Pass recently, which I love, and you can go to the movies pretty much every single day. And my, one of my great friends from work, she, like, tells me how she goes to the movies all the time by herself. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to do that. So anyway, I recently went and I saw um, Love, Simon. Whew, my heart like I cannot tell you guys how how that movie made me feel so the gist of it is um, a coming of age story about a boy like in high school who is like um, gay and he hasn't come out to his like fa hasn't come out to anyone I guess um, and like when I first saw the trailers I thought I could I thought it was gonna be cheesy because I know it's like a film about like high school kids and whatever and blah 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 and that stuff can be cheesy and it was but in such a great way such a relatable way for like teenagers and like high schoolers lower school whatever like young people it was so like I, I feel like if I was if I saw that film back when I was a teenager I would like love it it's that type of cheesy like relatable just not as an adult I think some people might have trouble relating but I honestly didn't uh yeah so it was really like the reason I was so in love with the film was because it was so such a real story and like growing up I didn't see any films that were like about normal high school like growing up coming of age whatever where the individuals um, the stars of the film, like the protagonist, identified as gay or really anything. Like, I don't recall ever seeing any films like that, um, especially for young people. Like, obviously, now, thankfully, we're in a day and age where there are more films about people of different sexualities and such, but, when I, but it's not applied usually to young people. And so I think the best part about this film was just seeing, like, I don't know, like I related so much as a young person when I was trying to figure out my sexual identity and stuff. I like never really felt like 
I don't know, I just feel like everything was super heteronormative and it was just like, okay, man, woman, get married, fall in love, get married, whatever, blah, 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 have babies, like, that's all you really saw and it was like, fairy tale, whatever, and you never really saw people who, like, had, like, different experiences or felt like they didn't fit into, like, necessarily, like, hi, I am, I am 100% gay or I'm 100% straight, like, you know what I mean? Like, it always seems so black and white. Um, and so I related a lot to this because I think growing up for me, like, I never was like, oh my god, I know, like, I feel super comfortable with my sexual identity or anything like that. I always was really, like, confused and, like, didn't really understand it and all these different things. Um, so to, like, watch that and have some guy who, like, the protagonist was this guy who was literally the most normal guy ever, like, standard family life, nothing to, like, screw him up. Like, when I think about, like, certain films that they did have, like, representation when I was younger, I don't even, I honestly can't name one off the top of my head, but I feel like there had to be ones, and it was usually people who were, like, really screwed up, like, really effed up, like, had bad lives, bad situations, and it, like, didn't portray somebody who was, like, completely normal in the sense of, like, society having interest, sexual, different sexual interests than what society tells us of the standard, like, male, female, whatever. So anyway, that was really important to me, and then on top of it also, it was just, like, so heart-wrenching, it was so beautiful, because it was a genuine, like, coming-of-age love story, and it wasn't, it wasn't like they were trying to apply that story to, in a way that didn't make sense for people in the LGBTQ community and, you know, um, what have you. It really felt real and genuine, and I feel like, I don't know, I just related to the story so much. And then on top of it, the representation, oh my gosh, the representation, like, it just made my heart so happy to, like, just to think about the idea that my younger sister and different um, kids growing up in this day and age will be able to go to a film, see a totally normal teen film, um, and have representation of people of color, also representation of people of color being identifying sexually as gay or what have you, like those sorts of things. I don't even know, like I can't explain I guess how much it means to me. Maybe I'll do a video on it, but like it just meant the world to me and I never related so much to a film um, kind of relating to my high school and my high school years and like growing up and what I went through and how I felt. Like I didn't have the exact same experience or anything like that, but it was super relatable to my experience growing up and that really touched my heart. And then also just like I'm a sap, so the love story was just beautiful. Spoiler little alert. <laughs> At the end when they found each other, they came kissed and it was so like oh my god like just to see two young gay men well men that identified as gay and one was uh black and jewish he was black jewish and gay and the other guy was just uh white or whatever but to see them literally kiss on screen it wasn't like this is a gay film they're, they're like it was just super about the relationship and the connection they had and less about the idea that they were gay and gay is different or something like that because it's not love is love you know what i mean so anyway love to go on tangents <laughs> but yeah so i've been telling everyone please go see that film it doesn't matter like i hate like don't think of it in the way of like oh i'm not i don't identify as lgbtq blah blah blah. i don't think it's a film for me whatever like honestly it doesn't matter if you're an ally it doesn't matter like whoever you are it doesn't matter if you honestly have no idea about uh like sexual fluidity or whatever like you need to see the film <laughs> like you need to see it and it will make you feel something and i cried four times and i'm not ashamed to say that <laughs> so anyway i'm gonna um curl my eyelashes now and I'm not gonna put mascara on because I am gonna put my glasses on and I don't like to put mascara on when I have my glasses on because it's like, I don't know, it like hits my lens and then I don't know, I just don't like it. <laughs> Alright guys, so that's the finished look. I mean, it's really bad, Ugh, it's so hard to see in this lighting which is so annoying but I promise it looks better in real life. But <laughs> Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, stay tuned for more content because I'm actually, I promise I'm gonna get to a schedule and I'm gonna keep posting and it's gonna be a thing. Consistency is key. Like, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna follow through. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to thumbs up this video and leave comments down below and share and subscribe and all that good jazz. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs>